I'd just like to say, Walking on Dartmoor by John L. What a brilliant publication. Um, yeah, I love it. It's a nice handy size. It doesn't feel too bulky in your bag. Um, I know Dartmoor 365 is a bit bigger, a bit heavier. The beginning of this, just talking about the geology of Dartmoor, I found fascinating. Because I've always wondered how it was formed. Like the rocks was formed. It says 400 million years ago during the Devonian period. That's when Devon and Cornwall was part of a huge food plain under the sea when the planet was all water. Yeah, the Devonian period occurred 400 million years ago and lasted about 50 million years. As the warm seas encroached the seven areas of what was to become the British Isles, changes took place. Coral reefs grew in the seas and volcanoes and sediments, mud and sand accumulated around the coral reefs and volcanic debris and we have the beginning of the Carboniferous period 345 million years ago. Then, as this period came to an end about 290 million years ago, both the Carboniferous, Carboniferous and Devonian deposits were subjected to mountain building pressures and foldings known as Amorican movements. The rocks and soils of Devon and Cornwall as we know them now were formed at this time, so 290 million years ago. Probably about this time that the granite of Dartmoor probably arrived from below the Earth's crust. Though dating such events is fairly difficult. They might be a day or two out I should imagine. Dartmoor granite arrived as an igneous intrusion into those overlying sedimentary rocks in which, because of the violent folding they had been subjected to, had many faults and cracks. Some of the granite was able to follow these weaknesses to the surface, while in other areas the granite welled up under the Devonian and Carboniferous rocks like water in a blister. Some of the sedimentary rock even became absorbed into the granite itself because of the ferocious heat. So we have the characteristic dome-shaped masses of rocks in areas some 365 square miles in the centre of Devon. That's strange, that's just where Dartmoor is and that's about the same size as Dartmoor. It's amazing. And then because the granite was protected by layers of rock from above the cold air, the molten rock cooled very slowly, resulting in large, viable, visible crystals. And the slower cooling process, the larger the crystals. Gradually the protective layer was eroded and destroyed by the weather during the Permian period, and in time the granite boss was exposed. Sort of what you see there now then. And during the millions of years that followed, a layer of granite itself between 50 and 200 metres thick was also eroded until we have Dartmoor as we know it today. Incredible. Oh, I'm not recording. <laughs>